Hey guys, this week Sassy wants a delicious patty melt, and I'm here to please. Okay, keep on. Was that good? All right, guys, welcome back to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. My name is Todd, and Sassy's behind the camera today. She, the camera say hi. Hello. Okay, we're trying something new. And Sassy's gonna start pulling focus and uh, running, running the rig here. So, welcome back to another episode. And yep, you heard it right. Today we're gonna do a patty melt. And I've been doing a little bit of research on the interweb. Patty melts and cheeseburgers are really closely resembled. The only difference is patty melt you use bread, you know, either sourdough or some kind of rye bread. Today we're using sourdough. We like sourdough. We like sourdough and. Um, and a, and a cheeseburger, well, you know, it uses a hamburger bun. We're not going to do that. So I've pulled from a few different recipes that I've seen online um, and I liked. Uh, Sam the Cooking Guy had some old stuff. And Cooking Cop and Babe, believe it or not, we looked at some of their stuff too. Um, there's others out there. Um, so if I uh, forget to mention you, I'm sorry. But those are the two that kind of struck our eye. And um, we're going to go ahead and kind of combine the two and uh, see what comes up. So today... We have what you see here is our Camp Chef two burner Explorer stove. Um, it's our go to camping rig and um, we got it fired up. Of course, it's propane. It's perfect for grilling stuff outdoors and it doesn't leave a big old mess. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do here is get the onions ready. So, what I did here is I took a yellow onion and I cut it up in, a ha in halves to just kind of get these nice little. Uh, slices here nice and thin half slices uh, you don't want too many chunks and stuff like that and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take some avocado oil to a pan let's put a little bit of oil there and I'm gonna throw them in okay now for the first couple minutes you want it nice and hot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them cook for a few minutes on really high heat I'm gonna kind of start to get them caramelized and stuff and I'm going to turn the heat down and we're going to do this for about 30 minutes guys I want a really nice cooked down consistency almost a sweet gooey kind of consistency and, and once it gets about halfway there that's when I'm going to season it so what am I seasoning with today Grillaholics SPG with butter now normally I would have just used SPG maybe a little bit of salt and pepper and maybe that's it but since this is going to be a gooey mess here I want I want the butter I want to get some of that butter in there and I'm going to try it out with this. This is the only seasoning we're going to use today. So uh, I'm going to leave a link down in the description uh, so you can get yourself some. Also, guys, if you go to their website at checkout, use discount code GREENHORN. You get 20% off, guys, any Grillholics products. Check it out. Okay, guys. Now, I don't want them to cook too fast, so I'm going to turn down this heat, kind of a medium-low. All right, guys, so I'm just going to let those cook down for a little bit. I'll see you in about 15 minutes. We thought we'd spice things up with some sliced jalapenos. Ooh. So I'm just going to put a teeny bit. So we're about, uh, what, about 10 minutes in on, on these onions? They're starting, about. To, they're starting to caramelize really nice. There we go. Got the seeds and everything in there. Yeah, I know. I cut most of them out. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, those onions look lovely. Ooh, perfect. All right. So we're going to go probably about another, I don't know, 15 minutes because it looks like uh, we've got a pretty good head start on them things. So about 15 more minutes. And then we can mix the, um, just mix this all together after. about a half hour and check this out nice and caramelized look at those onions the jalapenos mixed in nicely and I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of this SPG with butter Maybe a little bit more there we go and that's Ooh, that looks good. all we need to do on seasoning now some people use mayonnaise some people use uh, Sorry, I got a little piece of onions there, but that's okay. That's okay. That adds to the uh, flavor, right? All right. So 
So I'm gonna butter up these really well, guys. This is a key step, okay? Now, on the right side, I got medium high heat. I got medium high heat here. So I got a little lower zone in the middle. And that's where I'm gonna put that bread. Okay, just like that. All right. All right, guys, if you haven't noticed, I'm using Grillaholics grilling tools, guys. Uh, these are really awesome. This one has a little beer opener right there in the middle. Um, it's got a little serrated edge. Um, nice flat beveled surface for getting them sliders off there, guys. It's pretty cool. Nice uh, slip resistant uh, tongs. I haven't figured out what that little red thing there is, but they're really nice. They're easy to clean. To hang them. And um, <laughs> really hang on what? Not on the sure side what of your is. grill on a hook. Yeah. yeah. We're not oh, okay. on there, obviously. Well, if you guys know what these little red things here, leave a comment down below, guys. And uh, hey, hey, really quick before we go any further, I'm gonna pause and we're gonna pick the winner of last week's Wing Nut Wednesday. So I'll be right back. So this week, of course, the giveaway is Grillaholics SPG plus an SPG with butter, both 12 ounce sizes. Guys, all I'm gonna need from the winner is a valid US mailing address. So let's go ahead and go to the video. We will grab the URL, and then we're gonna head on over to the random comment picker. We're gonna enter that URL, and then I'm gonna retrieve the names. The system's gonna do it for me, and then get ready, go. Now it's gonna select it, and boom, the winner, Douglas Connor. His comment, and I don't blame him. He really wants to try that SPG plus butter guy. Douglas, you are going to get a chance, buddy. Just send me your uh, valid U.S. mailing address, or if you'd like me to, I'll just get a hold of Devin from Grillaholics. I'll let him know you won, and be sure to contact them and say you're the winner of Wingnut Wednesday, number five, the two 12-ounce giveaways of Grillaholics. So, Douglas, congratulations. Be sure to share this video, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, so the kind of meat we're using today is this beautiful grass-fed ground beef here guys now this is 80 20 meaning 20 percent fat 80 percent lean or red meat okay that's crucial to get that flavor guys fat is flavor now also i'm not going to really spend a lot of time balling this up okay um you want those kind of cracks and crevices to kind of promote the flavor but what i am going to be doing is making a patty a little bit to the shape of that bread guys so i'm going to go about oh. <laughs> so i'm going to go <laughs> patty about like that about a baseball size maybe a little bit bigger okay guys i'm going to elongate it a little bit and i'm going to go on the right side i'm going to get a little bit of oil there spread that oil around a little bit i'm going to try to get it even i don't want to get be too fat in the middle and thin on the sides but you guys can kind of see there Okay, and I am going to squeeze it out. Okay, I'm going to check my temperature. Bam. Okay, guys. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of seasoning. Okay, now I got this wax paper. I'm going to put it on top there. I've got this good old railroad tie. This will keep you from sticking on it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, guys, you can see here as that heat, as that brown is coming up the sides, guys, that's what you're waiting for. We're also trying to create that crust, guys. That crust is flavor, guys, and that's what we're trying to do. Okay, let's look over here at the bread. Okay, well, shit. It's alright. It's alright. Alright, all right, there we go. It's good, babe. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and flip this. Okay, bam, look at that, guys. That's flavor right there, guys. Okay. A little bit more 
SPG. All right, guys. Sassy's one of Sassy's favorite Munster cheese. Nice. I'm, I'm gonna put it on that side. Now, here's a little trick that I saw from cooking and grilling with AB. A little bit of water. The steam helps uh, melt the cheese. I think that's pretty cool. That looks good. Look at that. All right. Okay, these these buns are done. See that? Yeah, here we go. Okay, got, oh man, that is runny. Okay, let's see here. Okay, all right. I'm going to be putting this right on the top. It's got some American cheese. Yeah. All right. And here we go. All right. That's massive. Bam! <laughs> All right. Oh, that looks beautiful. Okay, and here's the good stuff right here. You getting a good shot of this, babe? Yep. Now let me get a better. There you go. Mm, those onions. Oh and man. Jalapenos look killer. Nice and smoky onions. Look at that. Let me shake up the sauce here. Right over the top. Pretty runny, but that's okay. Ooh, that looks good. Make sure you get a nice shot. There we go, guys. My mouth is watery. Those caramelized onions and jalapenos, excuse me. That burger seasoned to perfection with your um, SPG with butter from Grillaholics. Awesome. This bread, I love it. This is better than buns. Mmm. And the cheese. Mm -hmm. It's gooey. Yeah. Delicious. Can you taste that? Uh Salt, pepper, garlic? Mm-hmm. Mm. Here we go, guys. I'm going in. So good. Mm. mm. I can taste the yum yum sauce. I can taste the uh, SPG with butter. The cheese, obviously. Everything. I can taste everything. And that char on the smash burger style, just right to get in that, that nice barbecue taste. Mm. Mm. It's and delicious. The, and the dogs, to. Pick up all the droppings, man. Oh, my dogs are going nuts. Poor babies. Can't have this. All right, guys. There we go. Hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs> this is a quick and easy lunch to make any day of the week. Dinner, you name it, guys. There's a lot of different recipes out there. I also borrowed a few ideas from cooking and or smoking and grilling with AB. I think that's his channel, Smoking and Grilling with AB. Cool ideas. <laughs> So I also looked at the cooking cup and babes patty milk and uh, it was I awesome. Saw the, I saw the sauce she made and I thought of the yum yum sauce. So guys, be sure to subscribe and uh, like this video, comment down below, share it with your friends. It really helps us with the algorithm so we'll get more noticed and the thus bringing it more to you. So, and congratulations to the winner on this week's Wing Nut Wednesday and we'll see you next, next Wednesday. <laughs>